we are going to build curtains so let's jump over to Maya and the way we're gonna build curtains is we're gonna use um, CV curves we're gonna draw out our CV curves we're gonna duplicate the curve move it down and then we're gonna loft in between to create a NURB uh, surface now the reason I'm using NURBs is because they lend themselves very nicely to the organic quality they have as opposed to polygons and then we can always convert that NURBs to polys so let's begin first thing you want to do is you go to create and we're going to use the pencil curve tool which it will allow us to draw out our curves freely like a pen curve uh, in Photoshop and then we're going to go to top view and we're going to draw it out on here so the way our window works is this is our window we're going to create only one side and then we're going to duplicate so we're, not g we're only going to create one curtain then we're going to duplicate and then we'll mess around to make them uh, different from each other so let's begin kind of draw the general shape of the curtain and now center the pivot and drag this guy all the way up make sure that it's not going through our window and just move it up here now I'm just gonna duplicate it real quick and to see if how it will work when we move it over there's enough space in between and it looks looks good let me go back to my reference see uh, the curtains seem to be more connected to each other so we're gonna scale it out a bit and then we're gonna duplicate it again just to see and that's pretty good I like that alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this curve and we're gonna drag it down uh, all the way down here now as we do that we have two two of our curves created so now what we want to we wanna do is we want to select those two curves select this guy and this one with two curves selected we're going to loft them so make sure you're under the surfaces tab go to surfaces loft and now we have our straight down curtain now at this point we want to go in our uh, input nodes for for the loft for the curtain and increase our section span to I'm gonna increase it to five that's four no, five because we need more divisions because we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale so we have this thing going right here jump it back object mode let me duplicate the curtain really quick and just see what it will look like if I drag it over nice alright now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select control vertices and these are the ones that I'm going to start scaling in to get well, you know, the shape where it's coming down where it's being held by uh, like a curtain uh, ring and then it'll s uh, slowly span out so I'm gonna scale them in and then just kinda move them off to the side and I do the same thing to this so it kinda appears more uniform I'm gonna scale all of these guys down and move them over to the side a little bit more and scale these guys just a bit more in move them over um, it's looking pretty good now let me create uh, our ring really quick now f uh, and center pivot on this okay now for the ring creation I'm going to uh, use a polygon and actually going to create a pipe Now I drag it over 
over to where our curtain is. And position it in in place where uh, the most curvature happens. This is going to hold our uh, curtain in, in here. Now what I need to do is I need to make the thickness a little bit less. So the in input node, I put the thickness to 0.2, actually 0.1. That's a little bit better. Now I'm going to scale it in and scale it this way and scale it inside scale it out it's looking good but more in okay that's looking pretty good now a few things that I want to do to our curtain at this point is especially on the bottom is I want to make this a little bit less curvy because uh, as the curtain spans down it's not going to be as curv curvy on the bottom so I'm going to flatten some of this stuff out actually I'm going to select this and s scale them in I'm going to select all of these and just scale them in yeah, yeah, it's looking a little bit better. And do the same thing to this. Uh, object mode, it's looking pretty good. Let me turn off shading, see what it looks like without a uh, wireframe. That's looking nice. Alright, let's uh, kind of pull this out. And let's actually do the same thing to these scale them in and make sure that our ring does not go through the window and I think what I want to do is I want to pull this curtain a little bit out more from the window so it doesn't intersect and we still have our curves that we created in here as you can see so if I move uh, my curve the curtain will move with it so we can either delete that curve or we can leave it you know just in case we need to modify it later but at this point I can delete it I'm not gonna use that curve again and there's this curve and I'll delete this and I can save really quick and just maybe scale these guys a little bit more and scale this more in and pull it in let me see my reference. Yeah, I need to. I like the shape of these better. Yeah, I need to scale the bottom a little bit more in. All right, that's looking good. Pull this guy more in. Actually, I'm gonna scale him in further all right at this point you know you can mess around with the curtains a little bit more and what I would do is you can do one of two things you can take this and modify convert to poly uh, I'm gonna leave it as NURBS right now and I will duplicate this curtain move it over and in scale In scale Z, I'm going to make it negative 1. And I'm going to spend some time modifying. And then what you do is you duplicate these curtains over to the other windows.